hopefully that music is low enough to where it's not distracting, but loud enough for you to hear it. I'm trying to create a vibe. Because, you know, like, now I like my, my wave of videos so far. I'm not knocking them. But I don't want people to feel bored when I'm in those moments of just typing. So I'm trying to create a little bit of a, a vibe. A little bit of a, I don't know, an ambience, you know. Yeah. Give it, give it some, you know, give it some life. Because when I'm writing, I, I feel, I feel alive. I feel the dopamine. I feel the oxytocin that is running through my brain. You know, I feel good. But I'm trying to project that. I'm trying to make y'all feel a little bit happy. So we got some music going on for you. Just drown out. Do your homework. Just hang out. Just do whatever. We are on chapter three of Raven Hearts. On the last one, uh, I cut it off early before I finished the chapter, but I got the chapter done after the fact. And uh, it's, uh, I don't know. I'm just really happy about this one. I'm really excited about it. Uh, just to show you, I got, for those of you who haven't seen the other ones yet, this is what we're, we free-handed these chapters. We free-hand, what I'm doing to kind of test myself is I'm free-handing the book and then I'm typing it just to make it go easier, just to go by faster. What I found out in doing this for all you would-be writers is that when I freehand it first, this becomes the rough draft and then I feel like my thoughts are more complete by the time I get to the old laptop. So for all of you writers, you know, maybe you can try that. And I'm having so much fun with this. I have never been one to draw. Actually, I have it with me. I, I drew this a few years ago. And this is uh, uh, the main story in the world that I'm writing. And I illustrated that when I was, say... I don't know, six, 15, 16. And uh, this is the main world we're in right here, just to show you that. Uh, anyway, but that's the uh, main world we're in. Uh, and I'd, I'd come up with little inspirations like that here and there, but this one I've come up with a few good illustrations that I'd like to put into the book as well. But right now... Uh, we're gonna get started. So, also, I wanted to show you this little book. So, the the story I'm writing now, which is this one, is based off of uh, a culmination of I is ba based in the same world of this fantasy story set about a hundred years, hundred or so years before. It's like a it's like a random side mission that doesn't really have anything to do with the story, the main story, but it's like a fun little introduction to the world, I guess, you know? Not that the book doesn't do a good job of that on its own, but you know, with a world so big, you know, everybody's got their little story going on. It's, it's like life imitating art. You're, you pass some guy on the street, they're living the whole movie while you're living your whole movie and everybody's the main character. There's nothing wrong with thinking you're the main character. I'm my own main character. That's why I make YouTube videos of me writing. But yeah, this is the culmination of ideas of that I'm going to put together in the story. And see, this is... I've only got this much filled up in this book. And I've still got all that. Just uh, when I actually do start writing the full series... I don't forget anything because the last thing I want to do is think and think and think of all these ideas and then when it comes down to actually writing the story forget one of them so anyway we're gonna we're gonna get started um, chapter three uh, and I also pulled out my old old gaming computer 
I didn't, I never used this for gaming. I've only ever used it for writing and it's so good for writing. It feels the closest it's I've gotten to thinking words and they just appear on the page is been using this keyboard. So without for further ado, five minutes later, we'll get started. You know, I'll just chill out, listen to music, and I'll periodically check up on you guys. How's everybody doing this week? I hope y'all are doing good. Now, it's been a it's been a decent week for me. Uh, I don't know how to put it. You know, just college, really. Really, uh, I don't know. It started off rocky, but I'm I'm always excited for the semester. You know, I never, I never know what's gonna happen. So it's like, I don't know. Makes I don't know. I just feel good going to college finally because I graduated in COVID year 2020. I graduated on Facebook Live, and that was that sucked. And, you know, I had done online school and I hated it. Like, with a passion, I hated it. It made me miserable. So when I, re I heard that a lot of co uh, colleges were sli switching to online for the pandemic, I didn't want any part in it. So I just didn't go until 2022. And now I'm, you know, start of 2024. Or no, I didn't start going until 2023. Uh, now, so I've finished my first year of college and I'm in my second year and, uh, I'm enjoying it. I'm having a good time. But anyway, I'm gonna get started. So yeah, I haven't wrote a single word of chapter three yet. And something I, have people always have questions for writers, like how long does it take you to write a chapter? How long does it take you to write a page? So I hope this kind of clears up some questions. I know I'm not acclaimed yet, but, uh, you know, I feel like it's always different for everybody. You know, some people write, take some two seconds to write a page. Some people take some 20 years to write a page. Like you are, you've already seen like, people are so used to getting their movies out and their, their media, the media that they want out in like six months or less nowadays. I remember it, it used to be a three year wait if you wanted to see a movie, to see the sequel. Those were the good days. And I'm not, I'm not that old, I'm 20, I'm 23 on the 22nd. So, but yeah, no, I always thought that was, it left it a lot more room for speculation, you know, but now it's just like, get it out every week. But yeah. But I don't know, but this is fun to me. I like, I like having the camera on while I'm writing. I should have done this so much sooner.
So whenever I'm, since I'm writing it freehand first, sometimes I gotta go back and reference it. So that's what I'm doing. Because I write a lot of damn good dialogue down. So how I'm, how I'm doing it, this doesn't have a lot of, this is kind of like a base. Like how my mom taught me was when it comes to editing, you have a skeleton, so you give it meat, you give it flesh, you give it skin, you give it life. So this is kind of the skeleton that I'm working off of, and this is me giving it the the flesh and then, you know, the eyes, the, the nose, the, the cuticles, the fingertips, the, the thumbprints, you know what I mean? So I'm referencing it, and there's not a lot of descripting, descriptive words in here, but I, I already know how it's supposed to look in my head, so I can just write the basic, the, uh, the basic emphasis of each scene. This is my first time ever doing it this way, and it's so fun. It's so fun. It's like, because a lot of writers, they only get to see their words on the on their laptop which is fine you know that's how everybody does it starting out and then you know you get published and you get that rush of adrenaline for some people you know you get that boost in confidence and then you actually get to see your book bound but for this it's like i don't know you get to see it beforehand and it's in your handwriting so it's a little bit more personal but yeah i've always loved writing in these in these bound notebooks. So where am I? I'm distracted. 